What is up, y'all? KRC Pinto here. So last week on my stream, I took some time to talk about something I've been seeing some folks struggle with in Strive, reading Zotto One's combo notation. I gave a quick rundown on what the notations mean, what it looks like to replicate a written combo, and how to write out your own combos. So my hope is that this will help my fellow wonderful Zotto mains communicate with each other more effectively so we can work together to conquer the enemy. Real quick before I start, be sure to sub the channel, like this video, and follow me on Twitch. I stream every Wednesday night, and I always play with viewers at the end of the stream. So feel free to come hang out and have some fun. Appreciate y'all as always. Here is how to read Zotto One's combo notations in Guilty Gear Strive. So Zotto, in case you didn't know, something that you have to know off the bat with this character is that he operates on a negative edge. So when I summon Eddie, if I don't push anything, nothing happens, right? There he is. We'll send him away. So if I bring him back out and I move him around, I can push triangle and he won't do anything. But when I let go of it, his move comes out. That's called negative edge. And that's something that's notated specifically in his combos. And if you haven't seen it before, it might look a little confusing. So what we're going to do is look at a few combo notations for Zotto, walk through how to do those combos, and hopefully that'll help you get a better grasp on what to do with this character when you see his combo notation in the wild. So the first thing you have to know about fighting game combo notation, especially anime games, is that because they're international, people don't use like U and D to mean like up and down, or F and B to mean forward and backward. They use numpad notation. So if you've ever seen this, it'll look like... Uh, 236L, if you played Dragon Ball Fighters, would be like Bardox Lariat. So where they're getting those numbers from is actually not this numpad. I'm an idiot. It is your computer's numpad. There. This one right here. Can you see that there? That numpad right there. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So like a 5S in this game would be a standing slash. So there's no direction involved. If you're doing a 236S, it would be a quarter circle forward and slash. So that's how the numpad notation works. So that's good to know moving forward. Other than that, the letters you see in these combos are things like S is slash, um, H is heavy slash, up here P is punch, and then K is kick. D is dust. So those are important to know as well. So let's start with something basic, like this combo right here, 6P into 214H. So if you were gonna do 6P into 214H, what that's gonna look like is Zato's 6P is his forward punch, his anti-air move, and then 214H would be summon, all right? So that'd be this, but on a counter hit. I guess that's not a great example. Here, let's have him jump. So like that would be quote unquote a combo just to get the summon out, right? That's what this would be. So then let's look at another simple one. The next one down, counter hit 6P into 22H. So that's 6P into invite hell on a counter hit. So there we go. All right, so that's gonna be your counter hit into 6P 22H. So now it's looking something a little bit more complicated. So. We're going to look at off of this close slash or far slash starters. When you see C period S, that's close slash. F period S is far slash, right? So we're going to look at this corner combo right here. So that's going to be a close slash into a down heavy. And then we're going to do 236S, which is the frog. Then we're going to do another close slash, another down heavy. And then, so this close slash right here with the brackets around it, that means we're going to hold down the slash button. Same with this 2H here. We're going to hold down the slash button. And then when you see these open brackets on either side, that means we're releasing. So at this point, we're going to release our slash button to get another frog out. And at that point, we're going to let go of all the buttons, but we're going to let go of slash first so that that move comes out. And we're going to use that window to let go of heavy slash because Eddie can't do two moves at the same time. So then we're going to dash in and we're going to close slash 2H and do frog one more time. So that's going to be our combo here. So 
What that's going to look like in the wild is going to be... Well, that wall breaks, but yeah, you get the point. So, when you get something going like frog loops, you're going to see a lot of like... Um, You're going to see a lot of open brackets for releasing things and closed brackets for holding things. And that's really the crucial piece of the puzzle with Zato's combo notation. Is that when you see closed brackets, it means hold the button down. Open brackets means release. So, like, if we were going to notate one, right? Let's say I did. I have him out here. Glow slash, down heavy, release. Yeah. Like that. Okay, so let's say we were going to notate that combo. So what that's going to look like on its own. What that combo would look like would be CS into 2H into, actually, you know what? It would be CS because I raw summoned there into 2H, right? into release s into 214 s and then we kind of just repeat that over and over so that's what that combo would look like written out so yeah you really want to start looking for these brackets wherever they appear um sometimes people don't include all the closed brackets so like you could see this written this way like, that's not out of ordinary, especially if you're looking at something like Twitter, where characters take up space. So sometimes you do have to imply where you're holding a button. Like, if you see this, the S get held, and you know the S is going to be released later because of the notation or because it just makes sense for the combo, then you have to kind of imply yourself that you'll be holding the buttons in between. Because, say, like I did this, right? If I had to do... If I did close slash held it to H and then I didn't hold the H, I'm getting a pose there. And so that's going to kill my combo. So, yeah, I can't think of anything else that's really important to go over for Zato's combo notations. But hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about it, please leave comments. Uh, let me know on Twitter and we can discuss it some other time. But, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.